Meanwhile, people who are not yet eligible for the vaccine are now getting the shots at local pharmacies. News 6's Nikki Zizaza spoke with one woman who says she received a dose at CVS. The Orange County woman we spoke to says to bypass appointments, she got on a wait list at a local pharmacy to be notified when extra doses become available. And to find out if this was an unfair advantage, we reached out to multiple pharmacies, many of them saying it's acceptable because they don't want to see any doses go to waste. In pursuit of leftover doses of the COVID-19 vaccine, Kim Cherneski well, says she heard select teacher. pharmacies were giving away leftover doses. I called a CVS that's near me and asked if they were doing that, and they said they had a waiting list and that they would put me on the waiting list. Uh, for if they had any left over at the end of the day. Not on the priority list under state guidelines, Cherneski dodged the complicated and frustrating process of scheduling limited appointments. I had put my name on probably about 4 o'clock on uh, Tuesday. And by 6.30, they called me and said, we've got extra, come on down. Showing up for a shot in the arm due to no shows or canceled appointments. And I was kind of surprised that, first of all, that I got called that quickly, just within a couple of hours. And then once I got there, like they had a, a very streamlined process for, for getting it. To find out if this was in violation of priority lists, New Six reached out to pharmacies participating in the federal retail pharmacy program. Walgreens saying in part, if there are excess doses, Walgreens will communicate with the state and local jurisdictions to determine the next steps. Publix issuing their position, saying in quote, our goal is to administer 100% of the vaccines we receive and have a process in place to administer vaccines to our eligible associates whenever possible. And CVS saying in quote, in the rare instance of leftover doses where there aren't available eligible candidates, our pharmacy teams use their best judgment about administering the vaccine to others. Cherneski being one of the lucky ones. With the leftovers, it, they, I guess it doesn't matter. They did ask for my date of birth, but they didn't ask me if I would qualify in any way. Nikki Zizaza, Getting Results, News 6.